And this is one of the reasons for the new plan. The daily COVID averages are startling. More than 140,000 new cases and more than 1,000 deaths a day. And many states are still struggling to get their vaccination rates up. Georgia is among the states with less than 50% of its population fully vaccinated. CBS 46's Sabrina Silva joins us live this morning with how the Biden administration is hoping to get those vaccination numbers up. Sabrina. Yeah, good morning, Robin Gavir. Well, out of those six critical plans, right, to stop the spread of COVID-19, the main one is a mandate, and it's a vaccine and test mandate that could affect more than 100 million Americans. Good evening, my fellow Americans. President Biden on Thursday announcing his administration's six-part COVID-19 action strategy, shifting most of its focus onto getting Americans vaccinated, starting with mandates for public and private employers with more than 100 workers to require them to be vaccinated or test for the virus weekly. All federal employees, contractors, and workers at Medicare or Medicaid facilities must also be fully vaccinated. We've been patient. But our patience is wearing thin. Here at home, Governor Brian Kemp responded to the president's plan on Twitter, saying, quote, I will pursue every legal option available to the state of Georgia to stop this blatantly unlawful overreach by the Biden's administration, end quote. This has clear precedent in constitutional law. Yeah, so you just heard right there uh, by a constitutional law professor. So that threat by Governor Brian Kemp may say just that a threat. I'll have more on that coming up in the next half hour. But for now, reporting live at the state capitol, I'm Sabrina Silva, CBS 46 News. Well, Sabrina, thank you for that. And our governor, by the way, isn't the only one who disagrees with the president's plan. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster tweeted, the American dream has turned into a nightmare under President Biden and the radical Democrats. And Arkansas's governor, Asa Hutchison, tweeted, I fully support continued efforts to increase vaccination rates across our nation, but the federal government mandates on private businesses are not the right answer.